Hey folks, it's me again and in today's video I'm gonna do a short video tutorial So this is my Sonoma that I recently installed and I've been using it and it's quite fast but I say why not install Linux Mint alongside the macOS Sonoma so this is my SSD the one tera I've partitioned it into two so this is the the partition that I'm going to install the uh, Linux Mint and this is the partition that has the Sonoma so let's get started first of all you need to have the Linux Mint ISO you can see this right here and then you need to have a uh, 8 and above GB of flash drive and also you'll need to have Balena Etcher so that you can create our Linux Mint bootable USB so let me open my Balena etcher and then you need to format your USB to GUID partition or GPT if you are coming from Windows so here let's select our file and then go to the desktop and select our Linux Mint and our target let's select this Kingston data traveler and then hit on flash enter your uh, Akintosh password and as you can see there it's flashing and we have like two three four minutes remaining so let's wait for it to finish with the flashing Okay folks, as you can see it's validating our Linux Mint just a matter of seconds and boom. So our bootable Linux Mint USB is ready. So we need to I need to restart the machine and then we can I can continue with the installation. But this is for you if you are not subscribed to the channel, kindly subscribe to the channel, like the videos if it, it has helped you in any way. So just hit, hit that subscribe button, like the videos and then and all that good stuff. So let me just pause the video and then I can turn to my phone so we can continue with the installation of the Linux Mint. So let's restart our uh, Sonoma so we can boot from, we can install the Linux Mint. So just hit F12 and then select the USB. then you need to start linux mint 21 cinnamon let me just put it like this
okay so here we have our screen so what you need to do you need just to head up right here and then install Linux Mint right now it has booted to live mode or live USB whatever you want to call it but what you need to do is just we need to install it right so let's choose our language english let's continue with the default one continue so if you have another OS or a, if you have a Windows or a Mac you don't need to erase the disk and install you just need to come here to something else and then continue so here it will show you the all the disks that are here. Okay. So we need to find our This is the one right here that we so we need let me just delete it and come here and then select I like sorry I like on the disk and then click the plus button and let me just go with four right there and then mount is root select and here we need to add swap area there we go continue and that's that so what you need to do is just you need to click on install now so it will delete it will erase this one so let's just continue just name it I keep so I keep PC and then I'll put in my password and then continue So the installation process is sorry the installation process has just started there we go
Okay folks, so the installation has just completed. Now what we need to do is just restart our system. And let me just remove my Let me unplug my USB right here. As you can see there what's saying is remove and then and press enter. So let's restart it. So let's see our open core boot. So there we go. And as you can see right here we have two hard drive the one with linux mint and the one with sonoma so if i choose the one with linux mint it will boot to linux mint that we have just installed right there there we go so this is our Linux Mint. There we go, folks. And then let's restart it and then we can boot to Sonoma. So just restart it. There we go, and then we can choose our Sonoma HD, hit enter, and the next one will boot to Sonoma. So there we go, that's our Sonoma. So that's it guys, that's it for this video. If you like this video and it has just educated you, feel free to like this video, share, subscribe if you are not subscribed to the channel and I'll see you on the next one.